All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Auto Quick Save System mod, which is being made by form user Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new plugin that gives you more control over quick saves by actually allowing you to schedule them to automatically occur. And I really love it. It's a pretty neat mod, as who doesn't want more save files just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Now, before we actually take a look at how this works, I do need to mention two dependencies you will need. As with pretty much almost every mod Linux Guru Gamer does make, you are going to need the click-through blocker and the toolbar controller for this thing to function properly. But once you got everything installed, you just need to go down here to a new little save icon button we have, which will open up the new automatic quicksave system UI or AQSS for short. Now let's take a look at what all we do get here and start at the top and work our way down. Now the first option we do have is if you want a quick save to automatically happen when you launch a ship. You can turn it on or off as you so desire so that you do have that extra little save. Now below that we have the naming templates for the save files and we have two distinct ones. One for the launch quick save if you do select that to be there and one for the just usual generic quick saves. And I really do like this because you can actually choose how this thing is named. So let's say, for instance, if you're doing a custom mission, you could add in the name of that mission in here so you know, looking through your quick saves, exactly what you need. And that's pretty neat. And you can even do things like, well, as you can see, it's matched to the current game time where we're in year one, day one, hour zero, minute 15, which is pretty cool. Now, how do you know what you can put in here, like with the year, day, etc. stuff. Well, that's where this template info button comes into play. And if we do click this, it opens up this second bit of UI, which tells you all the different prefixes and whatnot that you can use in this. You can see you've got the year, day, hour, minute, second, etc., which is pretty nice. And it's uh, just a good little bit of extra info for what you can actually place in to these templates, which is just nice to have. Now, moving back to the main thing here, we then have the quick save interval selection, which is cool, and this is how long it's gonna take to do a quick save. Now, you can select between once in 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, four hours, and even a custom one in minutes where you could have as low as one or as much as whatever you'd like to type in here so that you have a quick save occurring at this time interval which is very cool and i like that we do have the custom one so that you can do it to how often you want it now you may be thinking then especially if you got it set to every minute oh boy that's gonna be a lot of quick saves in your file but hey, here's where the last part comes into play. How long you actually keep the quick saves. So you can see here we have the days to keep quick saves. In game days, don't worry, it's not going to actually save this for two real life weeks. And uh, yeah, the default here is 14. So every 14 days, it's going to purge the old ones that, well, are past that point in time. So very nice there. We can also, though, set how many quick saves are left, a minimum number, as well as a maximum number. So once it hits this maximum number, it just purges the oldest. And by default, the min is 10 and the max is 50. But like with the custom interval, the days to keep quick saves, you can actually go in here and type how many you do want so that your save folder doesn't just become crazily inundated with things. 
Now, once you got all this sorted, you can select the save config and it'll close this UI and you're good to go. Let's click it now. And there we are. You can see it did a quick save to get everything started, basically from the zero interval. And you may have heard it because it was kind of low. It was a click sound when it occurred. That was not me hitting the button. That click actually came because it quick saved. As if we uh, do open up this uh, info panel again, or UI rather, you'll notice we have another button, the sound options. And you can actually make it so that whenever a quick save occurs, a sound plays. So let's go in there and take a look at our options here. Now the first option is if you want that enabled. So you, it's on by default, but you can turn it off and it just completely gets rid of the sound files available to you. But with it on, you can actually select what sound actually plays. Now by default, it's this click sound, but the mod also comes with this quick save complete Ryan, which we'll play here real quick. Quick save complete. And quick save complete Sharon, which we'll play here. Quick save complete. There we go. And now you can play any of these by hitting the play button. Quick save complete. And to actually select it, you got to click on the name itself. So if you wanted the Sharon, you could have that. If you wanted the click, you could have that. Whatever. Now you'll notice, though, there's also an explosion sound. And that's because I added that in. In the uh, mod folder, there's an audio folder, and you can throw in sound files of your own to actually have for your quick save file. And who wouldn't want this playing in the background whenever it saves? You know, that's nice and will cause a bit of panic. Keep you on your toes. Fun times. But yeah, you can add in any sounds into that folder that you want and it will play it. And that's just nice. You can actually hear the click going in the background because it's saving every minute right now, which is nice. I just like that. Now let's uh, save that. And just to show you the quick saves that we do have right now, we can uh, go into a load save and you'll notice these are the saves that I do have. These were ones when I was experimenting earlier, and these are the ones from when I did a save at the beginning of this episode, or well, kind of middle, really, at the 17 minute mark, then we had the 18 minute, 19 minute, and that, that's just nice. And again, it'll only keep up to a maximum of whatever you do have set in the max interval, and will only keep them for as many days as you tell it to. And that is just some nice, good options to make sure your save files are good and your poor Kerbals don't befall some horrible disaster that, you know, could have been foreseen. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description. But that's really all there is to talk about it here. So hopefully you all have enjoyed today and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until complete. that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.